The Hunyadi family was one of the most powerful noble dynasties of 15th century Hungary and Transylvania, rising from local military prominence to near royal stature. Their ancestry combined Vlach, Hungarian, and possibly Slavic roots, symbolizing the multi-ethnic nobility of medieval Central Europe. The family's most famous member, John Hunyadi, served as voivode of Transylvania and regent of Hungary, defending Europe against Ottoman expansion. After his death, his son Matthias Corvinus ascended to the Hungarian throne, becoming one of the most enlightened rulers of the Renaissance. He established the Bibliotheca Corviniana, one of Europe's greatest humanist libraries, and ruled over a culturally flourishing kingdom stretching into modern-day Austria, Slovakia, Croatia, and parts of Romania. Johannes Corvinus, the illegitimate but legitimized son of King Matthias Corvinus and Barbara Edelpach, was titled Prince of Lipto, Hunyad, and Slavonian. Although he never inherited his father's throne, he represented the last major male descendant of the Hunyadi line. He died young, likely from illness, though some chronicles hint at hereditary weaknesses associated with stress-related conditions or metabolic vulnerability, traits that might correspond today to mild predispositions in immune regulation or cardiovascular genes. Christophorus Corvinus, Johannes' son and Matthias Corvinus's grandson, was the last male of the Hunyadi Corvinus line. Dying at the age of six, he never assumed any titles or political role, but his lineage closed a remarkable chapter in Hungarian history. For this video, I have gathered the raw genomes of both Christophorus and Johannes. I ran them through admixture calculators to determine their ethnic breakdown and used my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis to predict their health predispositions and appearance. Johannes's closest populations are Romanians and Montenegrins, according to illustrative DNA. This is consistent with Vlach ancestry that the Hunyadi family had. The dominant ancestry components in Johannes' ancestry are the Proto-Indo-Europeans and Anatolian Neolithic farmers, although he also had minor hunter-gatherer ancestry. Johannes was predicted to have light brown eyes, dark brown hair, olive skin tone, wavy hair, Greek nose shape, sparser eyebrows, and European facial morphology. He was predicted to be a warrior, lactose persistent, to have less D2 receptor sites, high odds of autism, lower empathy, lower odds of epithelial cancers, low odds of autoimmune disease, intermediate homocysteine levels, two variants for blue-yellow colorblindness, low odds of obesity, and decisively blood type O. Johannes scored particularly high for odds of cataracts, epilepsy, leukemia, primary biliary cirrhosis, baldness, and testicular cancer. He scored particularly low for odds of migraine, stroke, atrial fibrillation, DVT, type 2 diabetes, type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, prostate cancer, and thyroid cancer. Johannes carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's, FTAAD, pain hypersensitivity, spina bifida, and protection from HIV. With beta-calc, Johannes scored particularly high for odds of autism, bipolar disorder, colorectal cancer, coronary artery disease, heart attack, mental illness, multiple sclerosis, schizophrenia, skin cancer, and type 2 diabetes. He scored low for odds of Alzheimer's, anxiety, asthma, and stroke. Now let's move on to Christophorus. According to illustrative DNA, the closest modern populations to Christophorus are Northern Italians. This is consistent with his known genealogy. His mother was of French descent. The dominant ancestry component in CKM is the Anatolian Neolithic farmer component. Although he does also have significant Yamnea admixture. His share of Western hunter-gatherer ancestry is very low, which is the reason he plots with North Italians and not with the Spanish or Basques. Christophorus was predicted to have medium brown eyes, dark brown hair, olive skin tone, straight hair, thinner eyebrows, European facial morphology, and a Greek nose shape. He was predicted to be a warrior, lactose intolerant, to have less D2 receptor sites, high odds of autism, low empathy, low odds of epithelial cancer, elevated odds of autoimmune disease, average homocysteine levels, two variants for blue-yellow colorblindness, average odds of obesity, and decisively blood type A. Christophorus scored high for odds of cataracts, AMD, vitiligo, atrial fibrillation, unipolar depression, and thyroid cancer. He scored low for odds of migraine, leukemia, DVT, ADHD, bipolar 1, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's, and polycythemia vera. He carried rare risk variants for basal cell carcinoma, FHC, IBS, holoprosencephaly, and protection from HIV. With beta-calc, Christophorus scored high for odds of autism, colorectal cancer, heart attack, 
skin cancer, and stroke. He scored low for odds of alcoholism, Alzheimer's, asthma, dermatitis, mental disorders, Parkinson's disease, prostate cancer, schizophrenia, and type 1 diabetes. You can purchase both Christophorus's and Johannes's raw DNA in 23 and me format from the link in description. There, you will also find links to my products and services.